Hey everybody, this is Rapid Sports with Jax or the J to the A to the X dot com. Go over to the website. How we doing, everybody? And we're gonna talk about football. And it's here. We already had one game go by as Dallas battled New England. It was close, but New England again with Brady in the last drive. It's almost like what else is new. But you have to give Cowboys credit. They hung in there. Defense played pretty respectable. I thought they'd be better with Doc. Doc looked good out there. And he's only going to get better in time. So the Cowboys look like they're going to be okay. They got to protect this man and keep him safe, though. And we'll see what the Cowboys can do because they got a weak division. And now I kind of like the way they play that game. But let's see if we can get some consistency. Anyway, we're going to do our football picks for the week. And a lot of these games I bet. So I'm not giving you anything that I don't bet. But as an announcement you have to make, I'm not a professional or anything like that. So you're betting at your own risk. And that's how I'll say it because it's stupid to even say it because everybody knows it and it's in my uh, it's in the writings of my website. Anyway, so we're gonna start off with football and we're gonna start off with Pitt and the Bills. The Bills six and a half against Pitt. That's gonna be a good game. Um, I think the Bills are the better team. Are they good enough to win by a touchdown? Ooh, I don't know. This is. I think Pitt's gonna battle and scrap with him and keep this game close because uh, Ro- Roethlisberger grit. He's always seems a way to keep it close. So I think Pitt, Pitt will keep this within the six and a half. This might be one of those games though where you can throw a teaser, a uh, two team teaser, get that six points, even up that game or whatever. So this might be one of those games that you might be able to do that with. But anyway, I'm going to say Pitt covers the spread here. Um, Jets versus Carolina. What a game this is going to be. It's going to be the battle of quarterbacks from the same team, all trying to look at which quarterback is better than which. But this is how I'm judging this game. I believe the Jets have a better offensive line than Carolina. I also believe the Jets have a better defensive line than Carolina. And I believe this will be the difference in the game. And I believe Jets will win this game on the field. Uh, I just think the Jets are a little bit more talented. Uh, they could stop the run, so I don't think McCaffrey's going to go crazy on them. They're, at least last year, they're going to stop and run. They have a lot of the same people, and I think the Jets will be fine. So I think the Jets have the better up front four guys def- on the defense and and, and in the offense. And I think that's going to be the difference. I think they can protect Wilson. And I think they're going to rush the quarterback and get to Darnold more than the other way around. And I think that's going to be the difference in the game. So the Jets on the field. Then I got Jacksonville with Houston. Now, Houston with no Watson is kind of a different egg. You don't really know what you're getting. Jacksonville has the new quarterback, new team, new spirit. It's three. I'm going to say Jacksonville might win this game on the field. It should be a close game. If Jacksonville, uh, if Jacksonville's defense isn't bad, and I think they'll be respectable, and without Watson quarterback, and I don't care who quarterbacks for them, Watson was the big difference, and he's not quarterbacking. So I like Jacksonville to win this game, and Lawrence is going to get his first win as a pro. And then you got Arizona, Tennessee. Tennessee is minus three. This is a very interesting game. As ground, both teams can run the ball. Arizona looks like they have a little bit more offensive power, but you know, Tennessee, pound, 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 run, run, run. And that's going to be enough for them to cover and win this game. They're going to be playing at home. We don't know what the weather's going to be like, but I just like the ground and pound in that game. I don't think the Cardinals' defense is enough to stop that when they need to do it. So that's where I'm going with Tennessee here. Los Angeles. Chargers versus the Washington. I'm gonna. I still say Redskins sometimes, so you gotta excuse me if I slip because I actually really like the name. But whatever, they're they're not called anything yet. So until they change it, that's what I'll call them. Anyway, is one and a half Washington, and they're playing the Clippers. Uh, Clippers, I almost said yeah, right. They're playing the Chargers. No one even thinks of the Clippers with me. I don't know where they came out. This is an interesting game because Washington's at home. Chargers are away. Um, I'm thinking the Chargers are going to keep this game close. 
within the one and a half. So I'm going to take the Chargers and think the Chargers can win this game on the field like Herbert as a quarterback. I think he's the better quarterback in here. Washington is an approved team. This is a nervous game to bet. This is a game I kind of actually stay away from, if possible. I wouldn't really put any money on this game. But if I have to pick somebody, I'm going to take the Chargers here. Then he got Philly at Atlanta. Atlanta's, uh, get, uh, Atlanta's getting three and a half. You know what? I'm going to take Atlanta in this game. They're going to cover. I like them at home. They still have a good offense. If it clicks, I think they're going to be better than Philly. Philly has a lot of mystery to it, in my opinion. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to stick with the Falcons here. Then you got Seattle minus three versus Indiana. Um, Indiana's kind of the Seattle is just, I think, the better team overall talent. And they, they seem to be healthy this year. They seem to have the better quarterback. I don't have the confidence in Indy. I'd like to see them play, but this might be one of those games where the bookies have a hard time setting the game because they don't really know about Indy and what they got with the new quarterback and their new situation. So I'm going to stick with Seattle because they've been consistent over the years and they seem like they're going to do okay. Then you got Minnesota and Cincinnati. I like Minnesota's new rush. They're rebuilding that defense. They have the same pretty much offense there. Thielen's there to catch the ball, and you got Cousins, so you got pretty much the same. You got Cook at running back. Nothing's really different there. Cincinnati's going to have to show me. Burrow's going into the second year, so we're going to see what he has, but I don't think Cincinnati's ready yet to start winning. I think Minnesota's going to start to... They had a little bit of a lackluster year, but I think the D's better, so I'm going to say Minnesota wins this game, covers the spread on the road. Then you got San Francisco versus the Lions. I personally don't think the Lions are that good. I know San Francisco's having problems going with the quarterbacks. But Garoppolo can win this game. And San Fran this year is one thing they weren't last year. They're starting off healthy. And that's a big thing right there. So I think San Fran whips. I mean, they beat them pretty good. Don't do no teasers or anything like that, even though that the English didn't make sense. And just go with San Fran. Then I got the last game, Cleveland versus Kansas City and Kansas City's five and a half down. So, five and a half. I think Kansas City can win the game. They're the better team. They're healthy. They have better offensive line now. So, we'll see how that's going to work out. So, I'm going to say Kansas City's going to score a lot of points. I don't think Cleveland can put up as many points as Kansas City does on a good day. So, that's who I'm going to stick with. I'm going to go with Kansas City in this game. Mahomes is back. Football is back, and then maybe one day we'll do. The, I'll start doing some props because I, I live in Connecticut, uh, and they we thought they were going to have football by the beginning of the year, and they don't. But I still get to gamble a little bit because now I still have to drive to Rhode Island another forty minutes up the road just to get to the gambling. Actually, I could do it mobily and go over, but if I'm going to drive into Rhode Island, I might as well just go to the casino and get it all right. But Connecticut looks like they're saying now in October. They're going to get gambling here, which is going to be good for me. It's going to make life easy to have mobile. I can't wait for it. Connecticut's slow at everything they do, and you can't trust government. I trust nothing out there, basically. I don't trust government. I don't trust news. I don't trust any statistics you hear. Basically, I just go on my instincts, and they're pretty much never wrong, and I find the right people to tell me the right thing. I know this has nothing to do with football, but... When it, comes, when it comes to government finally legalizing sports betting in your area, you have to kind of throw that in there. So hopefully they get some stuff going good. And I know there's a lot of other states that are looking for it, like Louisiana was one. I think Tennessee was one. There's a couple of states out there that are on the fringe of getting football. Good luck because it is a lot easier. Like I said, I have to drive 40 minutes to Rhode Island just to go make a bet, and it's kind of annoying. So... But anyway, so this is Rapping Sports with Jack from the J to the A to the X to the X dot com. Go over to the website. Hey, if you get a chance, please throw me a like. Um, I have a sponsor, the Clutter Program. Uh, what they do is help you organize your life, invigorate everything. And it's just beautiful how they set you up. So your houses are all, you know, just everything is right that you're going to do. So when you get home, you're all organized. And you can come home and relax and it's just a beautiful program to watch it. Helps you even in the meditation department, everything. You got to check it out. It's called the Clutter Program. No, it has nothing to do with sports, but some of the meditation part in there, you need it after your game, especially if your team gets their butts kicked. You know how it goes. Anyway, 
This is Rapid Sports with Jack from the J to the A to the X. To the X. See you later.